Jay Garte. I'm a singer, songwriter, musician, producer, businessman, all of the above. I got into music um, at a young age. My grandmother was a singer, so she used to make us sing a lot. Um, but now I'm based in New York, and I'm based in Accra, so bi-continental, we go back and forth all the time. My inspiration comes from many, many things, my life, things I've been through, um, musicians from the past. I love Bob Marley a lot. I love Bob Marley's melodies. I love the fact that you know, he put his spirit into the music, so I see that as a, a role model. My style of music is it's a fusion of different styles. You know, I started out in the music uh, game as a rapper. I, I was always singing, but I, was, I have a, a rapper's background. At the same time, um, my style has R&B, you know, flavors of pop music with the dance beat and elements of high life, because I love high life melody and guitar. So it's a, it's a fusion, we, we tag the name Urban Pop Life. I can't say I have a favorite artist because there's, there's so many songs that I, at different times inspire me. But um, you know, there's, the GH artists, uh, there's so many. I, I can't, I can't give a name. But I love Sakodia. I love Ochiam Kwame. I like Priyas music. I like the whole Lynx crew. I like R2Bs, Kill Beats. You know, Payday's flow. I love Payday's flow movies. So the, li the list goes on and on. You know, outside of GH, I like Ti a lot. I like Neo. Um, Jay-Z, Jay-Z is always a king, so I like Jay-Z as well. Right now what you find in the U.S. is there's so many different, there's so many people from different nations, so you don't have to be straight American. For example, Dancehall is Jamaican, but they love it in the U.S. I've been in New York for a long time, so I know everybody in the industry, you know, we've had um, many chances to sign with labels, but we've told them to chill out because we wanted to do our style of music. It was very important that we did the music we wanted to do, you know, which is, which is urban pop life, which is mixing it all up. Because even on the album, we have a slow song right next to a dance song, which is very difficult for the labels over there to understand. So what we decided to do is take it, take it worldwide on our own so that when we, when we go back to New York, we can you know, dictate how we want to come out with the music. The first video that we shot was for, for My Lady, which um, is really blowing up on across Africa now on Channel Low. And um, we shot that with Gerald from Famous Films. And we decided to just keep it real simple, simplicity, you know, GH flavor. We have we're even pounding fufu in the video, you know, and we took a chance on that, but people really appreciated it. So a lot of people who are even Ghanaians who have never been back to Ghana are always you know, the video makes them even want to come back to Ghana more. The second video we're doing um, is, uh, is for the Black Stars. We, we finished that one, OM did the video. Uh, you know, it's showing the development of football from the streets to the World Cup because, you know, everybody, especially when I travel, is like, ah, how are Ghanaians so good in football? But the, the secret of Ghanaian football is definitely when, kids, when people are children, they play in the streets. So we show that in the video. We shot another one called So Wild. We shot that three weeks ago. And that video is uh, stressing, it's about, a, it's about Ghanaian women who are very diverse, who, who handle their business. At the same time, they're wild. They like to have fun. So we shot some of it in Mokola Market, the woman shopping in the market. Next moment, she's at the Accra Mall. So we tried to show different sides of GH too.
being, first of all, vocally I always let people know. It's one of the first things I always, I always do is let people know I'm Ghanaian. And a lot, some of them know Ghana, some of them don't, which is, makes me more motivated because through the music they will know eventually. Um, also in the style, people always ask about my style and I'm always they're like, that's a new style, the way you sing. It's because when I was growing up, you listen to the highlight singers, the way that they flow on the beat is the way that I like to flow on the beat. I don't like to just wail and show, hey, I can sing, I can sing. I like to really get into the feel of it. Well, I love to make music, so I'm always going to be in the studio. I love, that's the, my favorite part of the music industry is the, is the creative process. So. We create continuously, we're always making new songs, so we're going to work hard and present good work to the people over and over, so we don't plan to be doing this for a little while, it's a long-term thing. I'm passionate about music, I like real music, I love real musicians, and um, you know, people who don't know me, it's, I'm, I'm on a mission to bring GH music to the outside world because it's been kind of kept quiet for a long time, for many different reasons. So. You know, as it progresses, you're going to see me incorporating more GH flavor into the music and repping GH hearts. The number one advice I would give to the youth is to be patient in life because what happens is people work hard and they have a plan and then it doesn't work out exactly the way they wanted it to. But the whole thing is you never know what time is, when, when, what time is going to work. You know, God's time is the best time. People always say that, but it's true. So even when you've done everything right and it still didn't work out, be patient.